So guys, while you are installing Windows 10 or Windows 11 in your PC or your laptop, and if you run into this particular issue where you say that your particular SSD that runs on your particular um, laptop or your PC uh, does not have the required partition for that, so yeah, what would you do with it? This particular video helps you out with it. It's a very easy, very straightforward process. So without further delay, let's get into it and let's get started. Okay guys, this is interesting over here. As you can see over here, when I have this unallocated space, I have to make a new partition and it should uh, do it over here, but it's not able to create a new partition. And now if I uh, click here and show details, you will see that it says, Windows cannot be installed on this disk. Selected disk has an MBR partition. On EFI file system, Windows can only be installed on two GPT disk. Okay, so I have to convert the disk from MBR to GPT. Let me show you how it is. So now, as you can see, uh, once you're in this particular screen, you have to, uh, like in the keyboard, you have to press Shift and F10. The reason being this particular hard disk came with uh, the basic MS-DOS installed in it and the hard disk is in MBR partition. We have to convert it uh, into a GPT partition as well. So now to do that, uh, you have to please uh, like uh, press Shift F10 and if you have the function keys are accessible by the FN key over here. So you have to press Shift FN and then F10. So now I have to write disk, uh, sorry, no, yeah, disk part and hit enter and now uh type in list disk so yes as you can see over here the disk zero that uh, has at 237 gigs of uh, storage available over there over there i need to install the windows uh, 10 over here so what i will do is that um, select s-e-l-e-c-t select disk zero and hit enter it says disk zero is now the selected disk and now i have to clean it Please remember if you have anything on this particular SSD, you have to take a backup because this command will clean it. Disk path 30 succeeded in cleaning the disk as you can see over here. Now I will write convert GPT. Disk path has successfully converted the selected disk to GPT format. After that, you just need to write exit, exit from disk path and exit from the command prompt. Will be this so now since i don't have a product key i just need to select i don't have a product key and after that you need to select the version of windows you need to install select on windows 10 pro click on next end of the day you have to agree to these terms and conditions or else you cannot go ahead so select i accept the terms and click on next and i want to do custom installation always this is unallocated space as you can see just select it click on next and now the installation starts over here the hopes of this video is helpful if you have liked it consider liking and sharing with your friends and families while we are at it please subscribe to my youtube channel turn on that notification bell very soon lots and lots of cool updates are coming to this particular channel that's it guys for this particular video bye for now